Hey, this is Chad Wyatt, and I want to show you a cool resource here for uh, using icons in your web pages. Uh, you'll see here that these are all actual icons, but what's interesting about these icons is that they are actually a font. So they behave like a font would in that they're vector based. You can make them blow them up to any size, and you don't lose any of the detail. So um, and you can apply different colors, any color that you can apply to a font, you can apply it the same way to the icons, uh, including, as you can see here, there's a, a text shadow applied to these as well. And um, so we've got the large ones up here. We got, uh, you can see that they're being used here on the page. And then if you scroll down, we've got nearly, it uh, looks like a two, close to 300, I think it's 291 or so font, uh, icons that are here. And uh, you can get these for free. And just Google Font Awesome and you'll find it. It's on GitHub here and you can download this and install it and just read all about how to, to use them. But uh, basically once you got the, uh, you know, the style sheets and things in, uh, installed, um, you can embed these using, let's see, there's an example, this I uh, tag. So open up the i tag you set the class name equal to the name and the icon you want to use and the names are all up above here so you can see these names just so you drop that in there and then um, and then that's it so and if you uh, with a little CSS you can add a style to it so you can set the color um, you can add another font name if you want or another class name I should say to control color through CSS and things like that so this is a great little resource and it's free and um, I've also created a plugin to make it even easier if you're using WordPress go uh, if you get the plugin installed uh, you'll see when you're in the editor here you'll get a, a flag to insert the icon and then you can browse through all the icons and um, notice here when I go to change a color if I change the color to red, all the icons are changing to a red color. You can type any code you want in there, or you can use this color picker. So um, go with the gray color if you want. You can choose the size. So um, if I type in, for example, let's go with a hundred. Let's go with the large one. And you have to type in the pixels, or if you're using something else just uh, whatever the CSS style would be but a lot of times you're just going to go with the pixel so type 100 px uh, you can add a drop shadow if you want just check the box then you can choose the alignment if you want to align it left or right and have text wrap around it so once you do that and then get get those settings set up there and then find the icon you want to insert and then um, let's see let's go with this quote so I click on that, it inserts it into my page. I had my cursor there, so that's where I put it. I'm actually going to put it up here, but it uses a short code. So, um, so you could type it out yourself if you want, but that, that little pop-up makes it easy. So we see that the short code is actually FA icon, so font awesome icon. The name is set here, and then the style, so you can style it however you want here. And um, you, so you can tweak it here or just use the pop-up. And then let's go ahead and just preview the changes. And I've got a, just a basic install here. You can see I've got, there's the icon I just did. I even have it in the widget area over here. You can put it in the widget text area. You can put them in the widget titles. And um, it's just a cool, cool, fast way to uh, drop these icons in and um, you could even use them for you know like images somewhat in your pages so um, just your imagination uh, is the limit I guess so uh, again you can use the plugin or you can uh, go here and grab the uh, grab the code and figure it out uh, and drop it into your theme or whatever WordPress or whatever HTML type of system you're using all right, thanks.